Hi there! Kermit the Frog here, and as you can see, I'm still in the bedroom part of the TARDIS. Yeah, I hid in the cupboard. <laughs> oh, hold on. I can hear somebody. K9? Master? Why don't you rest there? Or oh, turn off your battery supply and, you know, just rest. Conserve power, my dear little friend. That is a very good idea, Master. Good night. Good night, canine. Oh dear, I think I better hide. Uh, uh, I gotta hide. Uh, ah! <coughs> oh. Oh, it's been... Well, that was a nice bag of jelly babies. <laughs> Hello. It's nice to see you again. Well, I do believe it's snowing out there. I just hope it isn't like the time when I visited the Antarctic. And that's where I found a deadly pod, which turned into this huge creature. A magnificent size, but very deadly. Yes. What are you doing in my TARDIS? Hmm? Well? Uh, I'm sorry, Doctor. I, uh, I just wanted to stay out of the cold. Oh, I've got a pity at your nose. Oh, really? Ah. Yeah. Well, I tell you what. Why don't we look at this weather? Let's check it out through the window. You see... I've landed in somebody's garden. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm not in space. I'm on Earth. You know, from time to time, I do like to uh, materialise the TARDIS round certain houses and check out the gardens. <laughs> well, come on then, Kermit. Eh? Let's go and check out this, uh, this snow. Uh, that's a great idea, Doctor. Well, of course, of course. Let's have a look, eh? Yeah. Let's go and check out the snow. Well, as you can see, it's not exactly really thick snow. There are tiny little flurries of uh, snow in the air, but you probably can't see it very well. You no. Know, you know, it really does remind me of when I visited the Antarctic. Yeah. Mind you, that was thick snow. And it had deadly pods everywhere. The crinoid. The most dangerous monster I've ever encountered. And I wouldn't like to see one of those again. No way. No way. You are right, Kermit? Uh... Yeah, I'm fine, Doctor. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, Doctor, why are you, uh... <clears throat> why are you trying to, uh, sound like me? Yeah, that's right. I don't know. I, I had a mad moment there, Kermit. <laughs> Yeah, you sure did. I did, I did. Well, I'm afraid it's it's time for me to go. I've uh, I've got to go and cook the dinner for Romana, get some jelly babies, and uh, I'm afraid you're going to have to leave. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Okay, Doctor. But it was nice meeting you. And you, too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, you look after yourself, Kermit. Eh? Look after yourself, little froggy. Uh, I will, I will. Cheerio. Goodbye, Kermit. Goodbye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> well, he was a nice little chap. Oh, oh, oh I just heard my leg. Oh, yeah. He was a nice little frog. 
Well, it's it's time I was off now. Yes, yeah, got to cook, got to uh, <coughs> got to cook the dinner for Ramada. Yeah. <laughs> Until next time, my dear dear friends. Goodbye. <laughs>